That's it guys, thanks for watching the video. That was loud. What's up YouTube, today I'm going to be making some uh, firework racks. I just got some old scrap wood here and a box of uh, firework mortars from the kits that I got recently. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to take the bottoms off of those, build some really nice racks, and uh, get ready for the 4th of July. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove this base uh, so that we have just a cylinder going down. It'll have a little bit of a square here, but they'll stack nice and neat up against each other that way instead of being this spread out. I'll show you how to do that. So basically I want to set my table saw so that it cuts off just this, uh, what do we got, an inch and a quarter inch on either side. That's basically where it's at right now. I'm going to run the extension cord out here and we'll get started. Alright, we should be plugged in and ready to go. I highly recommend before you get started with any table saw or chop saw or any of this equipment like this, make sure you're wearing safety glasses. Last time I did this, I wasn't so... Uh, so inclined to do so and uh, suffer the consequences. So, to avoid wood chips in your eyes, which is very unpleasant, just put on your safety glasses before you start. Once you get the first one done, I like to double check and make sure that I'm not cutting too much into the fiberglass and also that I'm cutting close enough to it that we're not still leaving too much overhang. That's about what you're looking for right there. Pretty much flush all the way around. Yeah, should be good to go. Let's do up the rest of these. All right, with that done, now we've got a box full. Ready to be put in the mortar racks. Perfect. Okay, so the next step is to strip down some of this, uh, what is it, 5 8 OSB uh, into, we're gonna do uh, five and a half inches. All right, so this is what we've got. Just got some nice long pieces here. And we'll just trim these down into uh, two different sizes. <laughs> one's gonna be one foot to go up the sides of our rack. And the other one's gonna span the distance on the bottom. All right, so to figure out the length that you want the bottom board to be, let's say this is just a piece of scrap, I think, but this is the, this is the right thickness, five and a half inches here. Now to figure out how long your rack is gonna be, each one of our tubes, the bottoms, approximately two and a quarter inches, a little bit off for each one because I wasn't very precise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two and a quarter inches. Hold on, yeah, all right. Two and a quarter inches. We're gonna times that by how many tubes we want. In this case, I'm building a 10 rack, so we're gonna do two and a quarter by 10 and that's gonna give us 22.5. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a half an inch just to give us some play down here if some of them happen to be a little bit bigger. So that's 23 inches. And then, because these guys are gonna sit on the ends like that, we gotta do the thickness of this times two, which these, I believe, are three quarter inch. No, they are five eighths. So... That's gonna give us 24 inches and a quarter. And that's gonna be the length of our bottom board. 
All right, so the first one, we're gonna do 24 and a quarter inches. I'm not even gonna mark it because we don't need to be super precise with these. All right, there we go. This should be five and a half inches wide by 24 and a quarter inches long. Next, we're gonna do two foot long sections. There's one. And there's two. Two foot long sections here and our bottom. These go rarely ends like that. With all our mortars in between. All right. Next we gotta cut our two by fours. Now, for these guys, we want them to go in between the two end posts, sitting on top of this board. Some three eighths. Right there. There we go. Now, if we did our math right, we set this down on here, put an end cap on this end, an end cap on this end, should be perfectly flush and that's gorgeous right like that so we're just gonna cut another three of these we'll go ahead and assemble our mortar rack all right so we got all of our wood cut. Got everything that we need here. We got our four two by fours, our end caps, and our base plate. So what we're gonna do first, what I like to do first, is grab two of these. Get the screws cleaned up. And we're gonna just go ahead and screw these onto the ends of these. Get these screws started here so it's a little easier once we get the wood on. And then the other side, same thing, we're just gonna get these screws started here. Okay, I think I may have lost a little bit of footage there, sorry about that. Uh, basically, I just installed this bottom board here uh, and the side boards. It's, it's all pretty much pretty simple once you get it to this point. These guys just fit in just, just like a glove. I love this. Love this system. Just get those aligned. Just a couple more screws. We'll be good to go. Ready for the fourth.
it's just such a simple simple construction you can whip out probably five of these an hour and just you know be ready for the fourth really quick and the, the nice part about these is you can do anything with them you can make angled racks you know set a couple of them up in different orientations and you can really put on some really nice shows with these guys All right, and just like that, our rack is done. And we can go ahead and put our tubes in. Should easily be able to fit 10 in here without any problem. There we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Just a little bit of wiggle room. They stick up nice so you can pull them right back out. I haven't found a better way to make racks yet. There you go. Hope that helps you guys this uh, summer, this fourth. Have fun, stay safe. That's it guys, thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you think you'd like some more content like this. Appreciate you guys watching, sticking around to the end. See you next time.